Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thank you for coming out tonight. Looks like it's going to be a little stormy, so if we get noises in the background, that's cool. Please join me in any of the blessings you wish. Hebrew, English, both. Whatever your comfort level. You don't have a copy of our Siddur? That's not a problem. Just email us, email us at rabbialtmark at gmail.com and we'll send you out a copy. Also, don't forget, if you have someone for our Mishaberach or our Kaddish list, please email, tweet, or Facebook their name to us so we can include them. Okay, now we start off our Shabbat service with singing. This is the Kabbalah Shabbat portion of our service. By starting off with singing, we prepare ourselves for a day of rest and leave behind the stress and pressures of the week. Now remember, the louder you sing, the better I sound. I'd like to send out a special thanks to the Maccabees for their Leka Dodi, which is what we're listening to right now, Rick Reck, Dan Nichols, and Steve Dropkin for letting us use their music. So, let's turn off the Maccabees. Thanks, guys. And let's start off by singing Hinema Tov with Dan Nichols, okay? Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Dan. Well, now that we're in the spirit, now that we're in the mood, let's light some candles, okay? All right, everybody get your Shabbos candles. Light them up. And we'll do the bracha together. Let's light these guys up. Can you see those? There you go. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halom, asher kiddushanu b'mitzvah tav, v'tzibanu l'hadlik ner, shel shabbat. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with mitzvot, and who commands us to kindle the lights of shabbat. Okay, let's put these down. And... Pick up your kiddush cup and join me in the blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halom barei peri hagafen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Lord of Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has sanctified us with divine commandments, taken pleasure in us, and with love and favor given us this holy sh Shabbat as a heritage to remind us of creation. You chose us and sanctified us from among all the nations, and with love and favor you gave us your holy Sabbath as a heritage. Baruch atah Adonai Makadesh HaShabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies the Shabbat. There we go. All right, I gotta get better tasting wine. Um... Now, let's do the Barhu, the call to worship. Barhu et Adonai Hamvarach. Praise God to whom our praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach le'olam vayed. Praise be God to whom praise is due now and forever. With me, let's do the Mariv Avrim. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, whose word brings on the evening whose wisdom opens heaven's gates, and whose understanding changes the times and seasons and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations according to the divine will. God creates day and night, rolling away light in the face of darkness and darkness in the face of light, causing the day to pass and bring on the night, separating day and night. God's name is the host of heaven, living and eternal God, Rule over us for all time. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch atah Adonai hamariv aravim. You have loved the house of Israel, your people, with an eternal love. Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts have you taught us. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will recount your laws and rejoice in the words of your Torah and mitzvot forever. They are our life and the length of our days, and we will pronounce them day and night. Blessed are you, Adonai, who loves his people Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Now it's time to do the Shema. Now the Shema, by many of our sages, is considered the most important blessing that we have. Now what I want to do is we're going to say the Shema, and then we're going to sing the Shema with Steve Dropkin. And you'll notice that when we say it, it has a very special meaning. But when we sing it, it gives it that extra, it gives it, you'll see, okay? With me, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Vayed. Blessed is God's glorious kingdom forever and ever. All right, now let's do it with Dan. Let's do it with Steve. Where is it? Right there. And you'll see the difference. <laughs>
us how to live. Fill our hearts with joy and all the love you have to give. Gather us in peace as you lead us to your name. And we will know See how much more meaning and spirituality it brings when you sing it? It's lovely. Okay, let's do the Ve'ahavta. First we'll do it in Hebrew and then we'll do it in English. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Ohecha V'chal Lubavcha Uvchal Nafshecha Uvchal Meodecha V'hayu Hadvarim Ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavcha, hayom alibavecha, v'shinan tam libanecha, v'ribarta bam, v'shivtecha b'veitecha, v'lechtecha v'derech, v'shachbecha uvkumecha, uvsharktam leot al yadecha, v'hayu letotefot b'en enecha, uvtavtam, you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your strength, and with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way. 
when you lie down and when you rise up. Find them for a sign upon your hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lay down in peace and rise up and find our hearts waiting to do your will. Baruch atad unai hapores sukkat shalom aleinu ba'al kol amo Yisrael ba'al Yerushalayim. Blessed are you, Adonai, who spreads your sukkah of peace upon us and upon all the people of Israel and upon Jerusalem. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days God made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God rested from work and was refreshed. Okay, everybody, please join me for the tefillah now. Adonai sifata tifta ufia gita hila techa. Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avotenu veimotenu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yiskak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'al Hagibor Vahanora, Al Elyon, Gomel Hasadim, Tovim, Mekone Hakov, Vezocher Haste, Avot Veimahot. Ume vigula livne vnehem, la man shemo ba ahava, melech ozer umashia umagain, barocha tadonai, again Abraham, ve et rat Atagi bor le la madonai, mechaye ha ko atarav lehushia. Mechakel hayim bechesed, mechaye hakoba rachamim rabim. So mech no flim verofe cholim, um atir asurim, um kayem amunato, li shene afar, Melech memit um chaye um atzmiya yeshua v'nem anata lechachayot hakol baruch atad onai mechaye hakol. You are holy. Your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, the holy God. Baruch atad onai ha'al. HaKadosh. Eternal source of good, we thank you for the numberless gifts and blessings that fill our days, for life itself and for its endless variety, for all that sustains body and mind, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, and for the excellence of your Torah, which deepens our life and enriches our days. Help us, O oh God, to work for a just and compassionate society where all may share your gifts and the joy of freedom. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. <laughs> I'm sorry. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace and its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. 
strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our world. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Baruch atah Adonai Oseh HaShalom. Now please join me for a few moments of silent prayer. I have a poem here for you. You just might want to close your eyes and meditate on your week. Meditate on the week that was. Meditate on the week that's coming up. Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you, Steve. Osei Shalom has got to be my favorite blessing. Hands down. Osei Shalom Bimramav, Hu Yosei Shalom, Aleinu Ba'al Kol Yisrael, Vayimru Amen. May the one who makes peace in the high heavens make peace for us, all Israel. Amen. I just love it. Okay, it's drosh time. But before we do our drosh, let's make some announcements. Thanks for coming out with us tonight, of course. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all coming. And I especially appreciate you for um, sticking with us last week when we were West Palm when we had to jerry rig everything. We had a good turnout. Thank you for putting up with it and we started late. It was but thank you for coming. Okay. Now, next week, we're going to be in Utica, Mississippi, Henry S. Jacobs Camp. We're going to summer camp. Sunday, I'm going to I'm being the camp rabbi for Henry S. Jacobs Summer Camp. So they don't like us um, to broadcast the service Friday night um, from the chapel. I wish I, I might I might take pictures so I can show you later. Um, it's really lovely. Everybody dresses in white, and all the kids come out with their counselors, and the counselors give the blessing. It's just wonderful. It really is. And the sun goes down, and um, it's just really lovely. But since we can't show you it, or I, I can't um, stream it live, I'll probably... Um, I'll probably do it for, with you that night via my, I'll try to do it outside of the lake or something. We'll just try to make it happen, okay? And then the next week, we're back here in the office. And I think we're here for a while. So we'll have our music, we'll have our, we'll have our wonderful um, candle, candles and, our, and everything else. All the good stuff so that we can... Make it nice and warm. And our Shabbat will be just lovely. Alrighty. Shabbat Shalom. Sometimes we just don't get it the first time. Or in the case of this week's Parsha Devarim, it takes the children of Israel almost 40 years to go from Mount Sinai to the edge of the Promised Land. 40 years. Well, actually, it's 40 years. Well, it's almost 40 years to go 11 days worth of distance. Was Moses lost most of the time? Was Moses so affected by the constant bickering and questioning from the children of Israel that it affected his judgment? No. Moses was only following God's instructions. But why take the long way around? Forty years in the biblical world equals one generation. The generation that lived slavery, escaped Egypt, and received the Ten Commandments had to die off before the children of Israel could enter the Promised Land, and this new generation knew nothing about the slavery, knew nothing about receiving the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. The miracles in Egypt, or how they got, how they got to where they were. So, it was time that God, through Moses, taught this new generation their history and why God was giving them the promised land. So after almost 40 years of wandering, Moses explains to the children of Israel their history and what happened in Egypt and in the desert for all that time. In other words, sometimes you can't appreciate it unless you know where you came from. We just don't appreciate what we have unless we understand what it took to get here or what it took to get us what we have. So after all that traveling, all that wandering, all that learning and all those miracles, now God was ready to bring the people into the Promised Land. And that is the book of Deuteronomy where Moses is giving his first, uh, his final, his final, I don't want to say speeches, but his final, his final, 
his he's summing up 40 years of what happened okay actually it's more than 40 years Moses actually goes back to Abraham Isaac and Jacob so that this new generation understands where they came from and most importantly who they are so that they can move forward and accept and appreciate the promised land they're about to go into. Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Now it's time for the Mishaberah. We wish anyone in the need of healing, whether spiritual or physical, our blessings to get well. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health, to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit. And together let us say, Amen. Now please join me for the Elenu, the Adoration. Let us adore the ever-living God and render praise unto you who spreads out the heavens and establish the earth, whose glory is revealed in the heavens above and whose greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God, there is none else. Banach nu korim umishpachavim umodim lifne melech hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu let the time not be distant, O God, when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye. O may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in their service. Then shall your realm be established on earth, and the word of your prophet fulfilled. Adonai will reign forever and ever. Bayom hahu yeye Adonai echad ushmo echad. God spread out the heavens and established the earth. You are our God. There is none else. In truth, you alone are our sovereign. As it is written, know then this day and take it to heart. The Lord is God in the heavens above. And on the earth below, there is none else. All right. Tonight, I want to end the same way we came in with the Nagun. Uh, we came in with the Chadodi by the Maccabees. I want to leave with the Nagun by uh, Rick Reck. But before we do that, let's do the benediction. May God bless you and keep you. May God deal kindly and graciously with you. May God bestow favor upon you and grant you peace. Shabbat Shalom, Shavuot Tov. Have a good week, a sweet week. We'll see you back here next week, 
next Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for Shabbat Services. Have a good week, y'all. Thank you.